Hi. <laughs> I want to tell you about my trip to Austin, Texas. Um, I took it a few years ago, maybe several years ago, actually. Um, and my friend, she actually owns a home there, and she wanted me to come visit. So I remember before I left, there were several people that told me, hey, you need to go see these bats at this bridge. It was called um, Congress Avenue Bridge. So I had never heard of it before. I was like, oh, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. So um, we're in Austin, and it's the day before we're scheduled to head back home. And we decide, why not? Let's go check out the bats. <laughs> so um, evidently, every day at sunset, the bats fly out from under the bridge. And it's supposed to be a lot of bats. So an hour before sunset, we head over to the bridge and there's already like a bunch of people out there, like taking pictures and picnics and the whole works. And it, this must be a big deal. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so um, we're out there and it was just before sunset or no, I, I think it was right at sunset, exactly sunset. The first bat comes flying out from under the bridge and we're all watching. And then there's another bat and another bat and another bat. And before you know it, there's like this line of bats flowing out from under this bridge. And it turns into like a whole river of bats. And it's like this black river all in, in the sky. There's thousands and thousands of bats just filling the sky. And as we kept watching, it's like the entire sky just it's, it's full of bats. It's black. It was just like the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. I've, I've never seen anything like this. So it was definitely worth going to go see it. And, you know, another interesting fact about the bats. Oh, sorry. So many things. But um, after you watch the bats, you can go up on the bridge and you can, there's like these little vendor carts and you can buy like t-shirts and hats and stickers and buttons and all types of things. It's just really cool. But um, another interesting fact about the bats that I found out was um, in 1980, they reconstructed the bridge. And so they reconstructed the space underneath the bridge where all the bats would hang out. Um, and so I think over time, there became more and more bats that were like displaced and just thousands and thousands more bats had come to the area. And the people of Austin were getting kind of upset and they decided they wanted to eradicate the bat colony. Well, there was um, this organization called BCI. It's a Bat Conservation International. They stepped in and they were just like, nope, not going to do it. Can't eradicate the bats. And they just educated the people on how the bats were very gentle and very sophisticated animals. And get this, this is a very interesting fact that I found out, that all of those bats, those thousands and thousands of bats, in one night, they could eat up to 10 to 30,000 pounds of insects in one night. Isn't that crazy? I thought it was amazing. But so another interesting fact. <laughs> the people of Austin found out was that over 100,000 people a year come to visit the bats. So this earned them, the city, $8 million a year. Can you believe that? Yeah, I know, $8 million. So I'm pretty sure that has some say in their decision at the end. So that's my story of Austin, Texas.